this day, January 20, 2024, Americans celebrate the third anniversary of President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris-led administration. What do you think? I think we're off to a pretty good start. I think we're off to a great start. I mean, Hard to believe it's two years, huh? Well, just remember where we started and all that was happening in our country. And I think the thing that has motivated us is the resilience, the determination of the American people. Yeah, they stuck with right? us. I mean, I, well. I wish people could see what I see sometimes. Yeah. I've been in the Oval Office with you when the cameras are there and mostly when the cameras are not and what you have singularly done based on who you are, and I mean this in all sincerity. The scorecard of the administration is full of achievements. This significant achievement, among others, revealed the biden Harris administration as an extremely progressive, productive administration, which has already had a dramatic and very positive impact on all Americans nations, allies in the world, and you bring folks together in a bipartisan way, uniquely. Well, you're you very You've been gracious. an incredible leader these last two years. I really think, as you've heard me say, foreign leaders, there's never been a good bet to bet against America. Biden has demonstrated by his performances so far as president that age can be an asset. His age, which some readily use as a liability, has proved useful in actually being a living history. Over the decades, he has built lasting relations with world leaders and has been living witness to major events that shaped our world. In the decisions in the Oval Office, Americans and the world have seen how he draws on his long time around to making powerful decisions. Welcome to the Oval Office. Come on in. This is the White House. This is it. On Inauguration Day, the outgoing president has to be out by, I think, noon or 10 o'clock in the morning. Incoming can't come in till 4 o'clock, so you can decide what furniture and what decorations you want in your office. And I had asked my brother in the rug and the furniture, because he's a better architect than I am. What they do is in suburban Maryland, there is a facility that is a replica in terms of dimensions of the Oval Office. My brother knows my taste extremely well. I love this rug. I love the color blue. That's the one thing I knew I wanted. The rest, my brother picked out for me. I've spent more time with the Chinese leader than any other head of state. And he asked me, he said, can I define America? I said, yes, I can. In one word, and I mean it. Possibilities. Possibilities. We Americans think anything is possible when we do it together. These are just a few of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris administration's achievements. Executive Order 13985, officially titled Advancing Racial Equity and Support for Underserved Communities Through the Federal Government, was the first executive order signed by U.S. President Joe Biden on January 20, 2021. We're all God's children. We should treat each other as we would like to be treated ourselves. At the White House this afternoon, President Joe Biden signing orders he believes will help improve equality for all. Just imagine, instead of denying millions of young entrepreneurs the ability to access capital, we made it possible to take their dream to market, create jobs, reinvest in their own communities. Does anyone doubt this whole nation wouldn't be better off? Joe Biden's administration has added 13.2 million jobs since he came into office, replacing all the jobs that were lost at the beginning of the COVID pandemic. Today, there are more people in America working than ever before, and so the administration has achieved historically low unemployment rates after the pandemic caused them to skyrocket. We created almost 11 million jobs, 750,000 okay. manufacturing jobs. Think about that and on top of capping the cost of insulin at $35 a month, what we've done, we have created more small businesses in the last two years span than any two year span in history. I feel good. And look, we're in a situation as well where we kind of united the world in a way it hadn't been for a while. And I think people are starting to realize that what we, you and I have been saying, there's not a damn thing we can't do if right. in fact we do it together. More African-Americans have health care, more women are employed in decent jobs. 
the administration passed the COVID-19 relief deal that provided payments of up to $1,400 to many struggling U.S. citizens while supporting renters and increasing unemployment benefits. The administration cut child poverty in half through the American Rescue Plan and also reauthorized and strengthened the Violence Against Women Act. A very notable and laudable achievement by the Biden administration was the historic investment in roads, bridges, and broadband access to rural communities in the United States. President Joe Biden is one of the few leaders who has demonstrated true value for diaspora's role in building a resilient global economy as he valiantly established strategic partnerships with key community leaders and organizations. President Joe Biden recommitted America to the global fight against climate change by rejoining the Paris Agreement. A notable feat this administration achieved was ushering the first black woman onto the Supreme Court. Thus, Justice Ketanji Brown Jackson became the first black woman justice in U.S. history. How about the fact that there is now a name that the world knows and the name is Justice Ketanji Brown Jackson? And more right. appellate court female judges are right. black than all other presidents in American history. Yeah. I feel good about where we are. It's really groundbreaking. Good. This administration also has in history the first ever female vice president and also the first black woman, Kamala Harris. In March 2023, United States Vice President Kamala Harris had a week-long visit to three African countries, Ghana, Zambia, and Tanzania, to deepen the U.S.-Africa relations, that is, trade and investment between America and Africa, thus making her the first black woman U.S. Vice President to visit Africa. The U.S. signed a Memorandum of Understanding to support the implementation of the African Continental Free Trade Area, AFCFTA, signaling a predominant focus on shifting from aid to trade. In July 2023, President Joe Biden met with King Charles III at Windsor Castle. They underscored the strengths of the relationship between the United States and the United Kingdom and the friendship they shared. And in September 2023, President Joe Biden met with Nigerian President Bola Tinubu on the sidelines of the G20 in New Delhi, India, to reinforce the enduring commitment to the U.S.-Nigeria relationship and to the long-standing friendship between the two countries and their people. This can be seen in the appointment of four Nigerians into his cabinet, Adewale Adeyemo, United States Deputy Treasury Secretary, Fumi Olorunipa Barijo, White House Counsel, Eno Titelayo Ebong, Director of the United States Trade and Development Agency, and Osareme Okolo, COVID-19 Policy Advisor. It is evident that much has been achieved by the administration of President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. And so, on the occasion of the third anniversary of the administration of President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris, the Julie Darling Entertainment World, Abuja, Nigeria. The U.S. Africa Trade Commission, Atlanta, Georgia. American Business and Trade Consultant, Abitrack. Platinum Staffing Group. Development Associates Link International, Kampala, Uganda. NAPAC Capacity Development Initiative, Los Angeles. Lexicon Media, Abuja, and Onome Food Market, Abuja. All felicitate with President Joe Biden, Vice President Kamala Harris, and the United States of America with the singing of the American anthem by Taiwo Adekoye, accompanied by members of the Julie Darling Orchestra, Feyishayo Adekoye, and Shisok Ip Oh,
Stripes and bright stars 